This is the Iron Trader and it is hump day, which means it is crude day. Now, the API number came out last night and crude was very bullish. You had a draw on crude of 6.7 million, but you had a huge build in gasoline of 7.2 million. Uh, Dislets, you had a draw of 0.2 million and Cushing, you had a draw of 2 million. So overall, it was pretty, uh, pretty bullish except for the gasoline. So, as usual, we are going to review crude oil here and natural gas. This video is for information purposes only, not a recommendation to buy or sell any stock commodity ETF. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. All right, here we go. Daily, weekly chart. Now, let's see what's going on here. Okay, so far today, we have ourselves an inside day. Now, if we look at yesterday's candle, yeah, even though it was a red candle, it came down and it closed above the 50 and it held that eight day very very nice and you're also above the 21 day so you got really nice good support here uh on this candle here so far today it's an inside day now remember the eia report will be out today at 10 30 so we should get some movement off of that now <clears throat> what i do like about this is this eight sma see how nicely it crossed above the 21 day and now you're headed towards the old uh, 50 sma it hasn't crossed it yet but you are pretty damn close now, we know when the price gets above, it holds that 8 SMA. See how it rises right up. When it's below that 8 SMA, then it holds that price right on down. So this is very, 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 looking very, very bullish. You look at your RSI, 53, plenty of room in uh, pretty much both directions. Uh, your MACD is still uh, bullish. The green is above the red. As long as that happens, you're very good shape, just like we had here where it started. When it goes below... Then what we have here is it has uh, a negative vibe. Okay, so let's just take a look at the upside. So what we want to do is look at today's high so far. Uh, that is 74.99. And yesterday's high, 75.25. And then we have 75.46. If we can get above that, then 76.18. This big retest, this is the key level, which is basically this candle uh, here at uh, uh, right there, okay? So <clears throat> that's why you wanna put the price channels in. So instead of saying, I gotta go all the way to the left, it's right already right there for you. Now, again, if you can get above that 7018, cause that's gonna be the breakout of this channel that's going on. Then what we do is we look on your weekly chart. You wanna look at 7735, that is your 50 day. And then we have your uh, 7769, your 200 day. If you can break above that, then you have 7991. Uh, uh, but remember that if you can get up to that 200-day, uh, when you look at here, see? Very, very strong resistance. That was a really nice double top situation. And then you could it came all the way on down. So <clears throat> when you see these candles like this, okay, so this one here was uh, uh, a 79.77. And then we had your retest at uh, 79.60. You have a lower high. That tells me that you got to get short. So... <clears throat> Say you're a swing trader, okay? You have a regular job. You're not sitting here in front of the screens like the old iron trader is. Uh, this would be the good time that says, hey, I can take a short position and I can ride it all the way on down. You don't have to say, oh, I got to buy and sell, buy and sell, buy and sell. You can just take a long position all the way on down. And you can do that for a week or two weeks, you know, even sometimes even a month until you find a bottom uh, like we had here. So always look for those kind of a patterns and any kind of a divergence like on this uh, RSI. See, we have a low, we have a low, but we have a lower low. And then on here on our RSI, a higher low. That tells me you got to get long. See, so that's a good, another good swing trade uh, situation where you say, boom, I can just take a long here. I don't have to worry about this on a daily basis. I can just ride it right on up here until we get up to some kind of a retest level and then we can dump it. Now, remember, you don't have to buy the bottom and you don't need to sell the top. What you're looking for is just add meat in the middle here and that gives you a really good uh, uh, money in your pocket. <clears throat> okay, now let's just take a look here on the downside. So what we wanna do is you wanna look at this key 50 day, you're looking at 73.64. That's gonna be very good key support on, on a, a closing basis. Right below that, you have this 8 SMA at uh, 73.52, and then we have your 21 day at 72.93. Now, so far, we have an inside day. We just have some sideways action here, but as long as it holds all this key resistance, 
you're looking really good shape here to go sideways or even a good possible higher. Now, again, if you start losing that, yeah, we looked at the bottom of the candle, uh, 72.56. Uh, on, on this candle here, uh, we have uh, a 7210, uh, we have uh, 7123, and then we have your nice retest here at 7050. Now, I pointed out this double bottom at 7050, and this candle here, 7047. So you have a nice higher low. That's what you traded off of. So if you're saying, hey, I'm going to do a swing trade, always look to the left of the chart. You say, oh, geez, that held resistant. That way you can take a long, just like we had here. On this candle so you had 7013 and you had 7006 okay that was a nice double bottom situation a higher low and then look how many days that you got for a nice good swing trade on all the way on up and then you just sell it you could even sell it here right into that 50 day and then it wouldn't even it came on down for you you would have your money in your pocket so there's ways here of doing this where you don't need to do say i gotta you know sit by the screen and there's ways you can take longer trades here say you know and just make this more of a side hustle versus a uh you know a, a full-time job for you but <clears throat> that's not what i'm doing here today so basically what we want to do is you want to watch on the downside that's 73.64 we eight days right below that, 73.52, and then your 21 day uh, at 72, uh, 2.93. That is the key levels we want to watch today on the downside. On the upside, you want to watch the uh, 74.99, <clears throat> 75.25, and then 75.46. If you can get above that, 76.18 is your target. All right, let's take a look here at Natty Gas. All right, here we have natural gas, your hourly and your four hour chart. Okay, so what we wanna do here now, <clears throat> if you're swing trading this and you say, hey, you know, I, I don't have time to sit right in front of the monitor situation. What you really wanna do here is you wanna take a longer term look. So you don't wanna use like a, a tick chart or one or five minute chart or even like a 15 minute chart. Um, if you have like say a week or two weeks, we wanna use like an hourly chart, a four hour chart, uh, you know, a daily chart, something that'll give you a little bit of long-term play. And I'll show you exactly how you do. So when this, this uh, we had a nice double top on this situation. So you had, on this candle, you had 2.958, and then we had 2.96. You had a lower high. See this double top here? That tells me you have to get short. So right there, you could have just went short and just let that short ride all the way on down. Okay, so that's that would have been a very nice easy trade over a period of time. Then what you do is when you find the bottom or even get close to this area here, that's where you 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 sell your trade and then you wait for a long. <clears throat> so what we had here is you had 2.31. Now you don't buy it here, okay? And you don't buy it there. What you do is you always wait until you can get a higher low, just like we have here. So when we look at this, you have a 2.31 and then we look at this candle <clears throat> here, you're looking at 2.33. Okay, that is your buying opportunity because that gives you that higher low. And now look at where she's just taken right off nice here. So when you look at a four hour chart, it gives you a little bit bigger look where there's that double top situation where you just say, oh, I got a double top here. We got to take this short all the way on down, not all the way on down. Now, even if you came up down to this point here, that would have been fine. You had a little bit lower, no big deal. But see now when you see this double bottom situation, that is your buying opportunity here to go long, okay? So I just wanted just to point it out that you don't have to sit in front of your computer, <clears throat> you know, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You know, you can always take a swing trade, which will give you like say, a, you know, anything from a week, two weeks, probably three weeks. You know, another thing is you wanna look at is seasonality here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a weekend edition here now. Uh, so this, uh, over the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to make one video that says about scalping, and the other one is about uh, swing trades. So that way it gives you guys a little bit better idea. If I say, hey, I'm a full-time trader, well, then you can do the scalp trade. But like me, I do scalp and swing trades, okay? Another good thing is you want to look at a seasonality chart. That always gives you a good idea, too. Okay, so on natural gas here, let's take a look here on a daily chart. All right, here we have your daily chart. Now, I pointed out this candle because this was here was your gap. That was 2.40 and the candle here, 2.39. See that double top in play? That told you that you had to basically go short and then this candle here confirmed it because you had the 2.39 and then we had the retest of 3.37. 
If you can't get through that, that means she's going to go lower. Now, look at here. He had one. Okay, he had two, three, four, five, six days. That's oh, that's a good solid, a little bit over a week there that you could have made a nice short trade all the way on down. Okay, so that's what you have to look at. When you get these indecision candles like this, that doesn't mean she's going to rally up. It just means people are just undecided which direction. And then the following day, what you had to see that top, that's a tweezer top. That's never good. When you see that, just like you see here, that's always going to go lower. So that's another sign where you say, I didn't want to scalp it all over there. But even when you see this, this is a good say, hey, I can buy this, do this short, and I can bring it all the way down. Now, when it came all the way down here to this 2.31, you, what you have to do is look to the left of the chart. Okay, so what you have here, 2.29. That is your support level. See, there's your double bottom. Okay, 2.2, that doesn't have to get right to there. So that's why you want to look to the left. So you had 2.29 there, 2.31, there's your double bottom, and now look what's happening. So yesterday we had a, a, a basically a higher high and a higher low, which is always another good confirmation that says it wants to go higher. And look at we have today, we have a higher high. So we got to see where she's actually going to go. So when you see that kind of a pattern, you can just take it as a long trade and say, hey, I can do this for, you know, three, four, five days. I don't have to sit in front of the screen. I can check it maybe once or twice a day and I can still make some a, a good side hustle, uh, you know, trading natural gas. So let's just see what we have today. Yesterday, I pointed out that we needed to fill this gap, 2.47, and then the bottom was 2.51. Well, that gap now is filled. Okay, so what you want to do today is we want to look at the top of this candle. So you're looking at 2.57. That is the top. And then what we do is we come over to here. See that 2.576? See, that is your resistance level. Okay, see, so that's what you have to look for. Okay, so when you go to the left of the chart, you say, well, why did it stop here at 2.575? Well, because th there's your there's your resistance uh, right there. It's sitting at 2.576. That's why it stopped. Now, again, if we can get above that, then your target is going to be here at 2.66. That is your 200 SMA. Okay? Very, very easy here on the do it. I mean, you know, I mean, it's not easy, but you know what I'm saying. That's, that's your targets here. So what you want to do is when you trade these charts, you want to keep it as simple as possible. There's many ways to trade. You can use those the clouds, you can use Fibonacci, you can do all this kind of stuff. I always found out the simpler you trade, the easier it is here to make the money. The key is consistent money, day in, day out. You start on Monday, by the time you get to Friday, you're going to say, holy shit, look at this, man. There's a lot of consistent money. It really adds up by the time you get to Friday. Okay, so let's look at the upside today. You want to watch today's high. That's at 2.57. And then right above it here, we want to look at this uh, key level, 2.66. Now, what I don't like is this 8 SMA rolling over at 2.71. See what happens when that rolls over? Where does the price go? Down. See what happens? The price goes down. That's not good. And now you're below the 100, you're below the 50, and you're below the 21 day. So resistance, big time, uh, 2.71. And then we have your uh, 2.73. Uh, on your 50 day and then we have right above that is 2.74 so there's a lot of resistance but realistically this 200 day at 2.66 that's where she's going to stop probably pretty hard that's where she'll hit a wall if this keeps on rally now what do we want to do on the downside well what you want to do is we want to watch uh, today's lows that's at 2.49 and then we want to look to the top of that candle at 2.47 because now that becomes you know, your support level. And then we can follow these candles here, okay? So you got 2.41 uh, uh, here. We have all the way down to 2.38. And then you can have your big retest here at 2.31. Uh, but right now, this is looking pretty nice, uh, like a, just a nice run up here to the possibly hit that 200 uh, uh, SMA here. So on your uh, RSI, well, you're looking okay here. I don't like this MACD here. Your green is below your red. That's never really uh, a good sign, okay? That's really never a good sign. Too. So we got to see here, but he did fill this gap here, and I'm just looking at maybe a possible target at 2.66 uh, here for a run right on up here. Now, remember, natural gas, their e, uh, EIA report will be out tomorrow at 1030, so it might give us a little bit just on what's going on. All right, that's what I got for you on the crude and natural gas. I'll have more for you uh, later today, probably around the 5 o'clock area. Uh, and we will review both of those again. All right. Thanks for watching.